Welcome back to a brand new video. Before we start, I just want you to see this. Like how clean and aesthetic and just pleasing does that look, right? Well, this just released on September 16th when Apple released its iOS 14 update for Apple devices. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can customize your home screen. I've gone through like a ton of TikToks and it's just so pleasing and just so satisfying to see what people are doing with their home screens. I thought I would make this kind of like a tutorial video. Very quick, we're gonna go over how you can make widgets, how you can set custom photos for your apps. The best feature on the iPhone now, by far, it's my favorite, it's the double tap feature and the hidden pages feature. So these are the four things that we're gonna go over in this video. Let's get started and I'm excited to see what you guys come up with and hopefully you guys find this video useful. So without any further delays, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first things first, I would suggest that you start with a color palette. This includes two to three color schemes that kind of look good together. If you look at my screen, I kind of went like a darker shade, just like gray, blue, and orange. I really like these colors, so it's just um, really aesthetic for me to look at. Uh, you can choose whatever you want and preferably choose a background that kind of matches with your color palette. So background, picture, and color palette is what you need to start. Next, let's talk about the app called Widget Smith. Now this app, essentially, if you open it up, you can download it on the App Store. It's completely free, but what it lets you do is you can set custom widgets. So there are three different sizes of widgets here. You have the small, the medium, and the large. And let's say you wanna add the small widget, right? You go here, you tap on the widget that you wanna add, and then it gives you a bunch of different options to choose from. So for this, video sake let's say i want to add a widget with the sunrise and sunset so i'll probably click on that next you can set the location so new york you can choose the font um, i like new york which is what all of my widgets are set to and then the tint color you have a ton of different ones to choose from i'm just gonna choose gray because it matches with my theme and the background you can add different shades to it um, I really like the 80% goes well with my theme and that's about it. So then you go back and hit save. So that becomes available for you to use. Now how do you actually put this on your screen? You go back to your home screen and you click on any of the icons on your home screen and hit edit home screen. Once you do that, you're going to go to the top left corner and click that plus icon and you can choose the widget which is just right over, there it is. So you choose the small widget, and once you hit add widget, it does this weird thing where it just says small, right? So you hit done, you long hold it, and you hit edit widget. Once you do that, you can choose which one you wanna go with. I'm gonna hit small number two, which is what we currently set, that's the, tide, the sunrise and sunset, and you go back, and there you go, it kind of appears and you have another setting on your home screen. Now you can do this with a bunch of things, but what I use Widget Smith for, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this for now, is this calendar as well as uh, a mile tracker. So I can set different calendar types with the day, the date, the time, whatever you want, different colors depending on your palette. Now let's talk about how you can add different photos or different pictures on your app icons. And this is something that I've seen a lot of people struggle with. A lot of you guys ask this. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your shortcuts app and then you're gonna hit the plus icon on the top. Once you do that, you're gonna hit add action and then you're gonna hit scripting and then you're gonna hit open app. Choose and choose any app that you wanna change the style to. For now, let's just say I wanna do the mail app. That's something that I haven't done. So I've done it for Gmail, let's do the mail app. And I hit that. And now I'm gonna hit next. And it's gonna ask me what I wanna name my shortcut. It's always a good idea to keep the same name that your app is termed as. That way you know which app is connected to which. But if you wanna play, play around with that, uh, you're welcome to in this part. So I'm just gonna hit mail, done. And then it kind of like creates this whole icon in the shortcuts folder. You're gonna hit the three dots on that icon. And then after that, you're gonna hit the three dots on the top that you see there. 
and add to home screen. Once you do this, you're gonna long hold the mail app that's kind of bordered with the blue stuff. And then you're gonna hit choose photo. Once you're there, you can basically choose anything you like. So let's say I'll just choose this mail icon and you're gonna hit choose, add, done, done. And I'll probably just place it somewhere here, there it is. So now I can just, all I have to do is just move it here. But, okay, so let's see, I take this one, move it out. And then I can just move this mail app all the way here. Bring my calendar back, there you go. And that's about it. So it's as easy as that. But one thing I would recommend when you're creating these app icons is, um, Again, follow your color palette. That was the first thing that I spoke about while kind of making these. Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the pictures that you choose are square in shape. I just used 500 pixel by 500 pixel. If you go to canva.com, you can very easily create, the, create these. All of these apps, most of the social media apps are free in the Canva app itself. So you can just kind of like drag and drop the app and then just change the color depending on your color palette super easy, super fun to play with. So feel free to do that. And that is how you create your own custom page. Um, and as you can see, it kind of looks really, really nice. And it's just aesthetic and clean to look at. You can literally play around with a ton of pictures and a ton of customization options with just these two features. That is the widget Smith and the app icon shortcut thing um okay but you get the idea next i want to talk about a really cool feature that um, apple added uh, it's basically the app library so if you swipe all the way to the right it gives you this app library where apple has actually bucketed all of your apps depending on what they what category they fall under but essentially you can find all of your like original apps here without like the changed um icon and all that stuff the Kind of disadvantage to this is you do not have the option to rearrange and rebucket these if you don't like the look but essentially it's just on the last page you don't have to look at it if you don't want to now let's move on to one of the best features that i personally think uh is added here is the hidden pages feature now what you're going to do is uh say just tap on any icon and hit edit home screen and then you're going to hit the dots that you see on the bottom and what it gives you is it shows you all the different pages that you have on your home screen. And if you want to hide anything, all you have to do is hit the uncheck arrow and hit OK. So now the only pages hit done. The only pages I have is my home screen and my app library because you can't get rid of that. But essentially, everything else is hidden. And I think this was much needed from a really, really long time. And I'm just so glad that Apple finally put this feature. But if you want, if, but essentially, if you want to unhide it, you're going to hit edit home screen again, hit on those two dots and just tick mark whatever apps you want in your library. Now hit done and then they reappear. So it's as easy as that. Lastly, let's talk about literally the best feature that was missing from Apple. Um, it's finally caught up to Android is the double tap feature. What this is, is it allows you to have double tap and triple tap features for certain actions. And it's very easy to set up. So what you're gonna do is go to settings, uh, accessibility, touch, go all the way to the bottom and you're gonna hit back tap. You're gonna go here and you can set a double tap and a triple tap feature. Now I've set my double tap to screenshot and my triple tap to lock screen. I'm not gonna show that right now because if I do that, it'll stop recording the screen. Um, but essentially, it works perfectly fine and I know that all the Android users already have this feature but it's really cool that we have it in Apple now and there are a ton of options that you can actually choose and set these features to. So this is one of like the cooler features that I was literally excited about for this update and I'm glad that they finally came up with it. All right, so that is it for this video. If you guys found it useful, don't forget to hit that like, share this with your family and friends Comment down below, which would you prefer to use with this feature, the light mode or the dark mode? I personally have my settings uh, set to the dark mode right now, but I can see how light mode might look appealing 
uh, with certain backgrounds and color palettes. But subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.